All right, this is Nate Story with Bright Agri Tech, and today we're gonna to talk about a really simple and uh, inexpensive way to cool your greenhouse. It is the summertime and things are getting hot. All of that excess sun from early in the morning to late at night, the ground's heating up, the plants aren't using all of it, and a lot of it is starting to heat inside of our greenhouses. So if you are in a dry or an arid climate where you don't have an awful lot of humidity, Cooling walls are absolutely the best way to cool your greenhouse off. Now, for those of you who are gonna say, oh, well, cooling walls are really, really, really expensive, and um, I don't know if I can afford one, today we're down at Bayberry Fresh, and we're gonna walk you through this homemade cooling wall. All right, so this is a really, really simple device. It is essentially um, this big cardboard, it's essentially a cardboard pad, um, this cardboard um, has channels running this way, channels running this way. At the top, we basically have a PVC pipe up here, and uh, I'll let you guys get a shot of that a little later. But there's holes in that PVC pipe, and what it's doing is it's uh, pumping water up from our sump over here, pumping it through this PVC pipe, and it just trickles out onto the top of this pad. Well, as the water moves through this pad, and you can see how wet that is, it's just dribbling down through there. And the fans at the other end of the greenhouse are pulling air through there. So all of that air, as it's pulled through these, this, uh, this wet pad, it's cooling our air, right? We've got um, really dry air coming in, and it, it, it comes out on this side with a little more humidity, and it's way, way cooler. And so um, these are by far the easiest and the best and the most cost-effective way to cool these things. Now, you can buy these pads on places like... Uh, hydro-gardens.com, greenhouse megastore, they will just sell you these raw pads, okay? So you can rig these up. You see he's just got it rigged up with two by fours. He's got a six inch PVC pipe down here cut in half to capture that water. And it all just kind of runs back down towards this end and drops into a 55 gallon barrel. So instead of going out and spending thousands on a pre-made, prefabricated cooling wall, you can make your own really easily, really inexpensively, and you can get a lot of work out of it. This wall here is cooling the entire greenhouse, and there's right now there's only one fan running. So one fan is running, it's pulling air through this pad and cooling the entire greenhouse. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, Plumbing-wise, uh, again, we've got this six-inch pipe capturing this water. Uh, down here, you're going to uh, see we've got a pump just sitting in this 55 gallon barrel and it is pumping that sump water up uh, through the pad. Now, the only caveat with uh, these walls is that they, um, they do tend to use a lot of water. So, Hayden was telling me I think he goes through like 30 gallons a day, 30 to 40 gallons a day on this cooling wall to keep this place cool when the weather is really hot. So, that's something to keep in mind. If you don't have a lot of water, um, you know, maybe think about it, but by and large, this is going to be the, the cheapest possible way to cool your greenhouse off in the heat of summer. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope this video was useful to you. If you have more questions or you want to learn more about our blog, also feel free to leave questions in the comments below. We do our best to answer those.